Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJY Gaming and your girl, Queen Adelinde, the philosopher of Frisia, and now also of France, <laughs> to our husband, King Guillaume, who we are now helping fight this war. Let's continue on. Uh, it's been a while since I've been uh, recording. Uh, last episode was episode 15, this is episode 16. Uh, it should have been a couple of days without recordings, but luckily I recorded something in advance. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my son Karel had, had insulted her once again. What would I say? I'm cynical. Gregarious, though. But my dear lady, you are fat. Praise his honesty to the court. Tell Karel that honesty has its bounds. Yeah, that would be, that would be me, I guess. I'm, I'm quite diplomatic, you know. So let's fight this war for together with our husband. We uh, we are attached to his army. So let's see how quickly he wins this. Who is? Uh, oh, this is France already. Okay. It has come to my attention that the Chancellor of Cleve, Bernard Flamence, ah, Flamence, right, our favorite uh, family, uh, has bribed and threatened his way to my domain. Okay, again a claim. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conversion of Prussia. The tribes of Prussia have been converted to the Catholic faith. A group of priests sent by the King of Poland have performed a great ritual during which they have converted the entire population of Prussia alongside High Chief Pusas II <laughs> and many of his vessels. With this act, the people of Prussia have once and for all forsaken their old pagan gods. Prus Prusas of Prussia, okay. So I guess we have uh, Frank of France. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what else do we have? Ita of Italy. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, nah, I'm not gonna judge. Where are you going, man? You're fighting the English, right? Why are you over here? Why are you not attacking the English? Is, is, is this a tactic maybe? Oh, he is actually invading England. He's already... Oh, these are rebels, I guess. How's he doing in this rebellion, uh, King Torf? 39% in favor of King Oswin the Chase, but then it's selective. Okay, well, good uh, good going, uh, my husband, Guilhem. Oh, he already died. <laughs> I looked at it and he died. Okay, well... <laughs> How did he die? Was he killed? Died of depression. Man, why? We 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 you, 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 we made you a king, man. I mean, it's lucky that uh, that we had a couple of kids for him already, because <laughs> now our king, our uh, our son, is none other than the king of France, our son and heir. I kind of want to continue raising him, and also, uh, Karel is the Count of Verden now. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Form alliance. Yeah, and we're also gonna... Oh, well, let's wait for a while. Oh, and that also means that, because we are still... Yeah, we're 30. We're still of childbearing age, so... Okay, well, it's... <laughs> I don't want to be cold against my, my former husband, but, you know, I am ambitious and cynical. Uh, it means we can marry again for another claim. <laughs> so let's try that. Let's maybe see if there are any claimants to the Kingdom of Lutheringia. Uh, we, we would meet a guy, Baldarich maybe, he's about my age, oh, he's already married to uh, to one of my family members. She's 42, we need sort of 18, Kaspar, he has a weak claim. Let's see if we have any other potential guys. We have Dieter, Ligerietje, he has a weak claim. Let's see if we have anyone with a strong claim maybe, that would be the best, so I guess not. Kaspar, we can marry, he's a lunatic. Dieter, we can marry. Dieter is a bit better, and if he, if he wants to join our court, I think I would be able to convince him. Then, as we know, we can break the betrothal. So that would be helpful. Is that the best course? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do that. I gladly accept the guardianship, great. Okay, my son, the King of France, is our guardian again. 
that was very quick. <laughs> we are what, five minutes into the episode and uh, we already have a family member on the throne of France. Let's uh, form an alliance with him. Because I think, you know, my husband was a, was a very uh, diplomatic guy. But there were not too many uh, revolts against him. But my, my son, the king, he's a kid, you know. Ah, he was only king for five years, house to Toulouse. And there we go, house Gilfing on the throne of France. Great. Unfortunately, we have to decline political concerns. Why, man? Yeah, maybe because he's a vessel of someone else? No, surely not. Countess Clemencia, eh? Whatever. Someone is trying to revoke. Okay, Dieter is joining our court, great. Why don't you break your betrothal, man? Kaiser will uh, like us less, but I, he hates us already, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Desire is the kingdom of Frisia, yeah. I mean, you have been able to attack me for... Let's see. Uh, approximately... What, 50 years? You know, if you were going to do it, you should have done it, man. It's too late now. Uh, Dieter Wichrich, where is he? Where is our boy? Here he is. Break betrothal. Oh, we already did, oh, we did, we did it yet. Okay. Here we go, Dieter. You are single now, I see. Okay. How about you marry me, uh, Metrolin, nearly? I hope we can still get a kid with him. That would be nice. Because then uh, we would have a family member on the throne of uh, Lotharingia. Accept your proposal for an alliance, great. Can we help you? Oh, you, uh, you have a lack of money. We can send you some. 15 gold. Let's send them some more. Because, you know, it's in our, in, in our, interest as well, in, in our interests as well to have him... Uh... Ooh, Duchy of Flanders! Damn, great. 400 gold, though. Yeah, we're going to do it anyway. That's great. So now we have... Soon we will have two reasons cause for, uh, to, do, to attack the Holy Roman Empire. Because King Gunzelin... Oh, he's also unmarried, I guess. We could have married him, I, I suppose. But we wouldn't have had a claim on it. So, um, oh, he's my brother-in-law. Okay. So, firstly, we will attack the Holy Roman Empire to claim the Duchy of Flanders. And then secondly, uh, let's hope uh, we get a kid who will inherit the... Oh, we'll not be inherited. Okay, I guess we will press our husband's claim then, if we can. It's all very ambitious, so uh, I think we, we need to gather strength a little bit before we do any of that. But, like I said last episode, I think it is doable. Although, this guy apparently has even more troops than his uh, predecessor. So maybe not. <laughs> On the other hand, you know, we have a couple of kids. That's too bad we cannot marry off Karel now. Or can we? Yeah, only to our own courtiers. Okay. I kind of wanted to, to marry him off for like a good alliance. Is there anyone who can stand against the might of the Holy Roman Empire? Sicily, maybe? Are they strong? Seven K. Comania, I think, is Muslim, right? Yeah, so we cannot marry into them. England, yeah, we could do. But I, don't, I wouldn't know who to marry because it's selective now. Scotland? 3,000. Hmm. Ah, uh, they have to uh, cross uh, the sea, which uh, they won't be able to do. <laughs> Sweden, maybe? Sweden is, is big, man. Sweden is not overpowered. King Bjorn of Sweden. Yeah, we can marry him, I guess, if he wants to. We can betroth him to uh, one of our daughters. Or our daughter. No, what do you mean, no? She doesn't have much skills. That's probably true. How much do you want? 70 gold? Let's try again. Yes, there we go. Okay, great. So he can be our ally. He doesn't have that many troops, but uh, maybe when he grows up, it will be more. No alliance. Why no alliance? Oh, it's, it's his region, maybe. Alliance? No, still not. Okay, well, maybe later. We don't need it just yet. Uh, our army is still raised. Are we still? Are yeah, we still at war with England? Can we help out somewhere? Is there like an English county here? Over here, maybe. Yeah, we can. We can occupy that country. 
That's great. Man, I can't believe we were, uh, our, our husband reigned as short as he did. You know, he was only able to fight one war here in Aragon successfully. And this was his second war. Oh well, I mean, it just means that it's in our dynasty quicker, eh? Are we, yeah, we are still a guardian, uh, the guardian of our two sons. Two sons, Arizona. There's a, I think in, in the Fallout universe, they call it two sons, actually. Even though, you know, I, I know it's Tucson, so the two, T-U-C-S-O-N. But uh, in the Fallout universe, I think they call it two sons. So this, ah, uh, 99%. This is probably going to be the last one. I'm oh, still 99%. Did he not fight any major battles yet? Surely he did. No, apparently not. Okay. Can we help him with that? Not really. I mean, I don't really want to jump on a boat. Ah, we, will, we will win soon enough, I guess. Okay, let's return back home. Oh yeah, I was gonna... Now that we, we are not no longer leading an army, I was gonna switch myself to a scholarship focus. Because I kind of feel like it's in her character, you know. She uh, she was a patron of the arts. Uh, she kind of wants to push back against her, her martial family a little bit. So I think she would do it, and we needed uh, 10 learning for that. Oh, I'm pregnant. Great. Great, great, great. That was quick, uh, Dieter. <laughs> I mean, hey, why not? You know, <laughs> as we say in Holland, uh, uh, you need to learn it on an old bike. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm 31, you're 21. You should learn it on an old bike. <laughs> That's a genuine expression in Holland. It's a little bit crass, I don't know. <laughs> ah, he won, okay, King Dirk won. Oh yeah, King Dirk. King Dirk of France. It doesn't really sound right, but hey. It's true, he's a Dutch, uh, Dutch king. We did lose most of his army. That's tricky. Okay, but when fully uh, recharged, he has like uh, 8,000 troops, so that, that's decent. Knights of Calatrava. The Order of Calatrava is the most recent addition to the Soldiers of the Cross, having just been endorsed in a decree issued by the Catholic Church. These knights take their name from a castle recovered in Iberia from the clutches of the Muslim infidel. I don't know too much about the uh, Knights of Calatrava, so I cannot really give you any nice uh, factoids about them. I don't know that much about the Reco Reconquista in general. You know, I know it ended in like late 15th century. And I know it left a kingdom which was deeply, deeply Catholic. It was like one of the most extremist. So the, the Spanish Inquisition was worse than the Papal Inquisition at times. <laughs> they were really, uh, yeah, fanatics. Uh, Duchess came healed, huh? okay. I know that one of my slots for court courtiers is capable of more than he realizes. I want to push a courtier into being more ambitious. Who is he? Kaitani. 26 diplomacy? Why are you not our chancellor? Oh, he is. <laughs> okay. Welp. Let's perform statecraft. We have, we have a claim on the Duchy of Flanders, right? That, that was kind of what we wanted. Uh, yeah, it's for both our best. I give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> Is he now 27 then? No. Okay. All right. How are you doing, man? Are, we, uh, are you a special character? Not, I guess not. Okay. Gonna make our sons special characters. And I kind of want to press our claim on Lotharingia. I think we would need a bit more help with that. I mean, we can start swaying our uh, our son-in-law a little bit no yeah he's uh, he's a kid i guess oh he's almost an adult though we will sway him uh, when he becomes an adult sarah's in the dove oh, yeah i'm uh, pregnant again that's good i hope it's another son that's just uh, has finally decided to come out of hiding okay why do i care she's my half sister how is she, uh, my half sister? Oh yeah, right. My mother. She married to the, uh, she married the, the Duke of uh, of Transylvania, and I guess she had some children with him. 
It's uh, I thought my mother was quite old already. No, okay, I guess it's it's still easily possible. No, we don't care. We're not gonna kill her. We don't. Uh, we're not interested in the uh, the Duchy of Transylvania. Holy Roman, holy war for Rashka. Yeah, great. Let's kick these humans down a peg because they are they are way too strong. <laughs> Dirk has developed a habit for wild parties. There's nothing I can do. Curfews. Yeah. I'm not gonna give him curfews for for enjoying some parties, you know. You're welcome to them, you know. You're charitable. That's good. That's helpful. That's uh, I think that's a lot of vessel opinion, right? Mm, no, I guess not. But three diplomacy though. Willem Dieterson. Why is he my heir? CK2. Willem is, is a good Dutch name though. Good good Hollandic name. But I don't know why he is my heir now. It makes no sense. Maybe because of a careful kind? If you start reading the book, I should take her out for a hunt. Uh, let's read the book. Maybe it's because of a careful kind. I think we should switch from careful kind. We were planning to do so anyway. Um, should we try to pass this tax law first? Yeah. Robrecht, Duke of Gelre. You want some money? You want to approve our, our law here? Wiegerich, you want to approve our law? Uh, okay, I guess I should take the bird for some hunting instead. Ah, there we go. Small feudal tax law. That's great, because I think we, we are starting to need the money. You know, we were coasting on our, our crusading plunder for, for years and years, but, you know, it, it's gone now. And we, we're going to need the money if we uh, want to fight the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, give a kind. Here we go. Primogeniture, elective, seniority. Ah, no, we're going to go for the old classic. Primogeniture. There we go. Yeah, King Dirk is our heir again. Very nice. So she is... Prince Clara is not married yet. Princess Sophie is married. I think we, I want to marry off Prince Clara matrilineally. I think I'm going to do that right now because... Uh, else uh, I will forget. And then my two sons will die. And we'll have the same problem that we had a generation ago. We Constance of Navarra is, my, is her sibling. The Toulouse. Okay, he was the first daughter of my uh, husband. Daughter from a previous marriage, my first husband. All right. Uh, yeah, I was going to marry her off matrilineally. Let's see if we can find her a nice, uh, nice boy. Let's try another, uh, another claimant to the uh, the kingdom of Lotharingia. Mm -hmm. Kind of looking for like a young boy who has a guardian who I can invite. Okay, he's the king, I guess. Is he the heir as well? No, I guess not. Dieter, that's my husband already. Who has a weak claim? Baldarich. What about you, Baldarich? My brother-in-law. Yeah, maybe he wants to join. Let's try again. No. What do you mean no? Oh, he loves the king. He's a friend of the king. Okay. Well... Too bad. Caspar, uh, 20. Too old, I guess. What about some Danish uh, prince? I know he has a lot of siblings, right? A lot of uncles. <laughs> Look at all these uncles. Uh, what about Halfor? Who is your, your guardian? Oh, you don't have a guardian yet. Then I should marry, I should invite maybe her, uh, her, his mother. Let's see what happens if, if if her children will join my court as well. I accept the gracious invitation. Yeah, I think Halfor. Yeah, so he's an Estrid. He's at my court now. But the reason I did that is because he's at my court now, and I can marry him uh, matrilineally to my uh, my daughter now. I hope. Oh no, I guess not. My daughter's at a different court. Yeah. There's another terrible guardian. Okay, well, whatever. Um, where is he? How far? Yeah, there we go. Metrilineal. Yes. Very nice. He's a strong claim on the Kingdom of France. Ah, oh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> her dad was the, uh, the King of France. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Plundered by savages. Hmm. 
All right, we set up a little bit. Uh, I think our next move should be to gather strength to attack the, uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Distinguished Queen Adelinda, I wish to formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading to my coronation. The Queen of the King of Pomerania. Yeah, why not? Why not? My son Carol makes sure everyone gets the exact, exactly the same amount of whatever sweets the cook gives the children. Oh, that's nice of him. King Yaroma decided to call for the attention of all his guests, so he's going to give a speech. But it was still and filled with platitudes. Webster's, Webster's Dictionary defines kingdom as... <laughs> what else? That, that's like uh, like like one of those standard speech openings, right? Tiresome, yeah. The Webster's Dic Dictionary was not here uh, yet, I guess. Because it was founded by Daniel Webster. Uh, I think late 18th century Englishman. He was the one who wrote the Webster's Dictionary, I think. Uh, Bay Loop of Hebron, as you ship the title Timar of Bet Gibilin. From Grandmaster Emon. Okay, I guess he conquered uh, one of the castles that was underneath him. This is my, uh, like the daughter of Jacoba. Only of the king. I, uh, I guess I would feel a little bit sympathetic for him because he is also uh, uh, an independent king of a relatively small kingdom, like me. Although I, I, I think I am stronger than he is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, by a lot. <laughs> ah, he says thank you. Okay. Breaches he has ended. Nice. Uh, we can do something. What can we do? Recruit, recruit court position. Oh. Is our uh, previous court position dead? We could, we could do Derek, I guess, but let's let's see if we get another uh, another uh, one-eyed guy. Another uh, eye patch guy. The US messengers tell you of a mercenary band that just arrived in Holland. Along with them is field surgeon Siko, known for his ability to rapidly amputate limbs and save the lives of gravely wounded soldiers. Despite the reputation of mercenaries often being greedy, hiring him seems comparatively cheap. 60 bucks? I don't think that's very cheap. But, you know, I like him. He, he's like this standard, like, uh, like Bones from Star Trek. He's that kind of character, you know? He's like a grumpy, scarred, stubborn, uh, cruel drunkard. I <laughs> guess he's not as bad as Bones was, but... I mean, he, he, I like him. He's got some character to him, and he's uh, he's an actual trained physician, so that uh, that helps. Uh, Torf de Normandy wants to marry my bastard. Yeah, who is she? Oh no, one of the clueless, right? She's the 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 bastard daughter of one of the clueless, but she does have a weak claim on a couple of things, so I'm going to say no. I kind of want her to become a nun. Oh yeah, private conversation. Let's let's try that. I kind of want to have a private conversation. Yeah, royal bedchamber. Let's try it and see what happens. Decline my invitation? Dude, you're my husband. <laughs> Surely we go to, together to the royal bedchamber all the time. You know, I, we, we made a son. Oh well, we'll try again later. Or can we try again immediately? No, I guess not. Send Dieter into hiding. Is there a plot against him? Kill Dieter of Frisia, says Casper of Lotharingia. And your blood, man. What do you mean, no? You want some money? You want to end your blood? He does. Okay, great. Hope for aggression. Practice he related to me? Oh, Wigrieger, yeah. I guess one of his siblings is uh, married to a kinsman of mine. My scheming was obvi obviously misdirected. Yes, it was. It very much was, good sir. How's my, uh, my son doing? King Dirk of France. And do people like him? Yeah. Surprisingly, yes. <laughs> Maybe opinion of predecessor plus 92, damn. Okay, so that, that's another 15 years that that counts. Man, that is that is helpful, huh? Because in, in 15 years, you won't need the boost anymore. It will be... Uh, you will be grown up. Should, uh, do we want to switch guardians? Uh, Maybe to, uh, to like a diplomat or something, I don't, if, if we can. Uh, fresco. Mm, should we do that? Is he gregarious, diligent? No. He is gregarious, but not diligent. He's not even a grey eminence. I kind of want him to be uh, like a good diplomat, right? Maybe I can find someone who is a good diplomat to uh, to train him. Yeah, my chancellor is very good. 
Yeah, like, okay, well, whatever, we'll, we'll do a Chancellor. No, I want someone with a grey eminence. This, this, yeah. He can be a very good diplomat, but if he's not a grey eminence, then he has almost no chance. My son has almost no chance of becoming a grey eminence. This guy, maybe, Italian. Chancellor of Gerba. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, you know, at first, when we were still Dukes of Holland, I was kind of hesitant to uh, to invite just people from all over the place, but... Uh, you know, I think we are quite a cosmopolitan kingdom now, you know, we, our, our family is married all around the world, you know, we have we have Russian uh, family members, we have like Italians and Czech people and uh, even we have, we have something, someone who is at the uh, at the court of the, uh, the, used to be at the court of the Byzantines, they don't exist anymore I guess, so. <laughs> not anymore, but hey, uh, yeah, my Italian friend, Lucio. You're also allowed to make my son ambitious, that would be nice actually. One day, passing by a monastery, you come upon a monk sitting and painting in a field. You observe his work and marvel at the composition, the colors, and the fine brushstrokes that bring the simple canvas to life. This monk is truly an artistic prodigy. Yeah, I think I would buy it. I'm a patron of the arts, you know. I like art. Yep, he's accepting the guardianship. When is he growing up? Okay, in another uh, three years. Let's hope he doesn't become Italian, that would be annoying. The spy master Nathan of Buziris seems to have friends and informants in, inside every Jewish community in Europe. Okay, great. He gives me some technology. How is Torov doing? Is he losing? Surely. Yes, 71%. Doesn't seem like we're gaining money very fast, although I guess I am spending it quite royally. You know, I'm bribing a lot of people. Lucio has arrived at my court. Yeah, I know. Archie's imprisonment, Duke Robrecht of Gelre. Should we do that? He's our yeah, he's a family member, right? All those other all those negative uh, modifiers, they would be the same with anyone. Because uh, they're all like general ones, so female ruler, succession law change, whatever. Uh, okay, we can increase tax somewhere. Siege equipment that would be nice, I guess. Has improved relations with Bishop Adolf van Tholen. Alright. Alright, alright. So, let's look around the world a little bit, since we are in kind of a waiting uh, waiting period. Yeah, so, last night, uh, last, uh, last time, episode 15, we looked at the insane saint in heaven. Is this a family member of ours? De Narbonne. No, I guess not. She is uh, quite saintly, though. I gotta give him that. That's nice. All right. Yeah, we looked at the quite a, quite insane Near East. But if I look at it now, I see I see actually some people became independent. We have now an independent uh, Duke of Achaia. That's nice. So the, the Orthodox are maybe clawing back a little bit. Is uh, is Kumania not doing well? Ah, they're doing pretty well. Cell Dukes are still doing great. Uh, my courtier Joachim has requested to join the Knights of Calatrava. Oh, you see uh, one of the estates, my courtier. He's not married to my daughter, right? No, my daughter is married to Halvor. Yeah, go with my blessing. I don't really care. And you're an estate, so you have 45 brothers, probably. Oh, we're missing a chancellor. Oh, we can make Lucio our chancellor. How is our boy doing here? Doing well. Another boy, oh, he's also doing good. Uh, what else is... Uh, oh, my courtier died of great pox, okay. Oh, I'm pregnant again, nice. Yeah, I think by now, by now I think we can safely say that uh, Adelinda saved her, her dynasty, you know. Oh yeah, uh, the reason, I, I forgot actually, we <laughs> we increased the, uh, the learning to 10 so that we could join the Hermetic Society. So let's do that. That is what I desire to hear. We would like that you have taken your first step towards enlightenment. The Pope is the... Uh, is, is a member of the Hermetic Society? Okay, I guess I thought he would... I thought he would think it was uh, heretical. I guess not. Okay, we joined the Hermetic Society. Confident scholar, confident seer, ma magus. Is he the leader even? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well... 
I mean, uh, that probably means he won't uh, excommunicate us, so that's good. So we can choose an apprentice. No, we can choose uh, Dirk van Gorkum. Yeah, I, I, Dirk van Gorkum, I remember him. He's our court position, or he was our, he's our court chaplain. Yeah, he can be our, our apprentice. Hey, why are we not no longer the guardian? Oh yeah, <laughs> you did that yourself, you idiot. Prince Willem is two years old. Okay, yeah. We should build an observatory, I think, but uh, let's do that later. How is the army of my son doing? 9,000, great. We are also 9, so we're 18,000 together. He's got, he's got 14,000. Oh, he's at war with the Cumans, of course. Should we do it? Guys, what do you think? What, how long have I been recording? 20 minutes. Yeah, I think I think we should do it. I think it's a nice... I think, I think we have a chance now. We have some money, so we won't go bankrupt, bankrupt immediately. Is there any other... Oh yeah, maybe the, the King of Sweden wants to become our ally now? Still not. Okay. Can we send him a gift? No, we'll not increase. Can we give him an artifact, maybe? Uh, I kind of don't, don't want to lose any of these. 6k troops. Maybe the, the King of, uh, of, of Denmark wants to be our ally? Spymaster, another uh, bit of uh, military technology. No aggression pact, okay. Ally, great, okay. I think the three of us, we can take the Holy Roman Empire. That, that should be possible. One children like a guardian, Sophie. Sophie Guilhem's daughter. Who's betrothed to King of Sweden, right, yeah. Uh, maybe we can have the King of Sweden uh, be her guardian. That would be interesting. Oh, he's already got two, uh, two wards, too bad. Okay, who else can we... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can do our crop position. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, let's let's do it, guys. I think we should do it. Can we claim? Uh, no, we cannot claim the the uh, kingdom of Lo of uh, of Lotharingia. I, I think because we do have one of the claimants of the kingdom. Ah, it's a weak claim, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, that's no that's no problem. We will capture the duchy. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're gonna lead again, of course. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ask our allies to join us. Come on, please join me. Please join me. Of course, I will honor. Of course I will honor, okay. Yeah, my son, I would have hoped you would honor the claim, okay. Guys, attach to me. We're gonna attack the Holy Roman Empire, man. <laughs> Let's go to Bruges. Doot, doot, doot. Music is getting epic. Be knighted by your hand. I don't know. I, yeah, they, they do sing something in English, but I never really. Uh, do, should we make a corpse position in the command? Yeah, why not? Never really, I never really understand what they're saying. At some point they're like, oh, make your nation proud. Oh, we, we are pregnant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have give birth in our, uh, our army tent, I guess. Who's, okay, so the, the kid who's going to be born now, he or she is gonna be a martial character. Where are you, uh, where are you going, guys? Oh, he's fighting a war. Damn it. That is dangerous. I guess the Holy Roman Empire is distracted, though. Uh, Christopher, you can be the main guy. That is pretty dangerous. Why? Why did you not call me in? Why did you not call me into that war, man? You should have done that. Can I offer to join? No. How well are you doing here? Oh, we should have checked that. King Stephen the Just. Oh, he's, okay. He's joining some allies war. Yeah, he's not even, uh, he's not even attacking him. You idiot. We need you, man. I guess we should pick up our, our allies in the, the allies to the Danish, because I don't think they are, they want to, uh, reach for Queen Adelinda has ended. We have, an, have another son, Hubert, Hubert Dirkson. Dieter. Dieter we can do. That's, uh, that's my husband's name, right? Yeah, Dieter of Frisia. 
It's not really a Dutch name though. I think we should uh, we should try to attack some of his smaller armies because I think it's dangerous to have them uh, gather forces uh, as much as we are. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I think we will we will rejoin. Rejoin the army. Join me, man. You Danish, Danish a hole. Where's the uh, the French? Why are you here, man? We we need you. This is a dangerous enough war as it is, even without our allies helping us out. Especially without our allies helping us out, I should say. Why are you not joining me, man? I'm, I told you to join me. It's not going very well so far. I hope he's going to join me after he is done uh, sieging uh, these, uh, these towns. My dear court chaplain and brother in the Hermetic Order, Dirk. See your family? Uh, Dirk van Gorkum, yeah. Uh, a step forward with the idea of a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. We need all the help we can get. My sister, as you know, we are always in need of ingredients to perform our experiments. These experiments are essential to uncover the mysteries of the world. I propose a joint venture to combine our knowledge in an effort to identify and gather ingredients, so that our search for truth will not be halted by such worldly things as material shortage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will help you. And I will do it immediately if we can. We can, okay. Uh, I've called upon my apprentice there to help me gather ingredients that are needed for future, further studies of the mysteries of the world. But first I need to decide what kind of ingredients we need. Okay, so this is based on your uh, some of your skills. So I, I think the marketplace, for example, that is, if you have a high diplomacy skill, that's useful, because you are good at talking. Forest is for martial, I guess. We are decent martial, I, I suppose. Herbs in the hills, I think that's knowledge. Because you have to check the plants. So I guess we would say uh, in the forest we will, we will hunt for the most prized animal parts. I think we will do that one. Uh, oh, again. Okay. Again the same. Join me. Are you joining me? We need you, man. Summoning the divine. The stars. The sun, the stars, the gods. Or secrets hidden throughout the world. The time for the ritual has come. And your order has congregated in a spacious room. Symbols scatter the floor as you chant your hymns. Nilfai Dirk has provided you with a, a new, special type of incense that he claims is necessary to make the eventual connections with the Divine Being. Before long it has permeated the air, and as you inhale more and more of it, hearing the drone of your fellow's chants, you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend. Until it seems to connect with something, an entity touches your soul, though you cannot perceive it with any senses other than your mind's eye. It must be the Divine Being! You have succeeded! You struggle to control your emotions and to coalesce all your thoughts into one burning question that you pose to this being. O oh, Divine, pray tell me the operation of the sun. Join me, are you joining? Oh, we should wait for him, I think. Ah, we should wait for him to join us. Come on, join me, man. Why are you not joining me? Join me. Oh, he's, he's also at war with someone. Please join my army, man. Oh well, I guess he's not joining. Two animal parts added to the inventory. Great. We should uh, we should capture something in Flanders, or we will uh, we will uh, we will uh, have ticking war score against us. Great Eminence. Oh yeah, that was what, what, was what I was hoping for. He's a good diplomat, although he's pretty terrible at everything else. <laughs> oh, this is a smallish army. We should attack it. One animal part. As long as we still can, we should attack this army because before it grows too too much. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh, we are marching over the plains, and one of my officers mutters, "Once I'm back in Holland, I'm giving up this soldiering life, and maybe I will be a baker." I chuckle, considering my own more strategic aspirations. What about you, my lady? What will you focus on in the future? Logistics and organization, my good woman. I want to be more more direct. I think. Yes, definitely. I wonder if a surrender a fight. Yeah, organization. That's uh, that's the best one. If you're an organizer, then that can make the difference between life and death. Oh, this is a big battle. This is a big battle. And the Danish are joining us, I think. Yeah, it seems they are. Well, we have the, the Kaiser himself here in the, in the right flank. 
He's not doing well. <laughs> He's only got eight marshal. Man, I hope we get to duel him. Can we, could we take him? Probably, right? Yeah, easily. Riding over the plains, I see a group of haphazard soldiers coming from my unit. Weapons raised. When they are finished with us, all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in the dirt, wondering why I'm still here. Where is the enemy commander? I'll kill him myself! The sun is beginning to set when I meet Duke Bernard, my Italian crusader spear ready. After we clumsily dodge his one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured hand, but I have rarely seen so much blood. I walk away victorious. Yeah! Great. It's our first true... Uh, uh, true uh, battleship... Uh, battleship? <laughs> Battlefield duo, I guess. Ah, nice. 145 gold. We can use that. Uh, I think we should we should chase him, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is good, man. It's good that we found a small army of his, because I think long term, he has more troops than us. So we really should take out whatever we can. But now we, I think we should go to, uh, to Flanders. Uh, let's wait until this is locked. Lock it. Yeah. Queen Adlin is... Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Oh, he, uh, he, he left again. Who did we lose? Spy Master. Oh, Nathan, our, uh, our Jewish uh, Spy Master. Oh, that's too bad. But we have Marcos, our eunuch. He's ambitious, though. That's not. That's maybe not the smartest thing to do. Although, you know, what, 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 what is he going to do? He doesn't have any claims on anything. He's not going to, uh, to, to gain our, our, our title or something. Could have sworn, uh, if I sold your cowering in the back. Yeah, so we, we had this event before. We're not going to attack him. Nice. Another victory. We should start to uh, occupy something in Flanders. Yeah, because we are, uh, we are, we have taken war score against us now. I just hope the, uh, the, the French will join us in time. Is he coming? Oh yeah, I think, I think he, uh, he finished his war. Did he? Yeah, he, he's a truce again. That's nice. Because uh, we need him. <laughs> need to warn him as politely as I can. Yeah, let's do that. He's getting fat, I guess. Uh, yeah, did not go unhurt. Thank you for my concern. Nice. The French are coming. The French are coming. The French are coming. By land. By land. That's from, uh, that's like American Revolution, right? That's Paul Revere. Such a mythology around that, that whole period, man. Uh, my son Carol was bitten by a snake this morning. The brave little fool keeps seeking out, seeking out danger. That's my lad, yeah. I have like the, well, maybe not the testosterone, but like some hormone flowing through me uh, because of this war. So I'm gonna say, yeah, 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 go ahead, man. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> No, don't go there. Go here. We will arrive in Tia. Join me here, man. Don't walk all the way over there. Oh, he's attacking my... Uh, he's attacking this guy. Oh, that's dangerous, man. I hope you can handle it. Because I think we will be too late to join you. Although we, we can try. We're an organizer, right? Oh, no. He's, uh, he's moving away again. In that case, we will continue besieging uh, Brugge. Oh, I guess he is joining us now. Oh, that's great. And then we, I think once he is, he has joined us, we we uh, we will win this war because we will outnumber the the, H the Holy Woman Emperor. Man, what a way to to baptize our rule, you know. We we already conquered France for our uh, our son, our husband and later son. But this this guy actually takes a lot from uh, from uh, from his father, you know. He was also diplomatic to a fault and with not many other talents. He has no martial talent, man. <laughs> is he leading the army? No, luckily he's not. <laughs> My mother Adelinde was murdered. Oh dear. Adelinde the Recluse. Yeah, she was married to the Duke, yeah, the Duke of Transylvania. Yeah, she died. She was murdered. Yeah, well... I mean, hers was a life of uh, of plotting, and and scheming and murdering. So you know, I, I guess she got what uh, what she deserved more or less. Or in, in any case, she she died the way she lived. 
being murdered by a plot. <laughs> yeah, but so Adelinda, Adelinda is not very close to her mother, you know. She, uh, her mother left when she was very young, so she doesn't really know her. So, you know, she probably feels a bit, uh, a bit strange, but, but not so much sad, I guess. All right, Brugge is ours. Let's go to Gent. The blow was struck. Ooh, okay, we shouldn't have done that, maybe. <laughs> Let's wait it out for a bit. Because we lost like 2,000 people while storming those walls. Defeat in Jena. Okay, well. Who cares? <laughs> Pope Adrianus has lifted the ex excommunication of Ona Gerolfing. Okay, I didn't know she was excommunicated. But that's fine. We are a neophyte. Okay, here he comes, eh? Prince Udarich. If he moves any closer, we will attack him. Yeah, we will attack him. And the title is Designated Regent. Oh, is my... Uh, is the... Uh, the girl... Uh, what was her name? Godewiese? Uh, is, she, uh, is she dead? What was her name? It was like super Flemish, right? Gozewijn or something? She was our guardian for a long time. Of a peace. We surrender under these terms. Queen Adelinde, the philosopher against the Duchy of Flanders. Okay, yeah. Accept, yeah, definitely. Duchy of Flanders. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We, we, we expanded Frisia. We almost doubled it in size. Not only that, but... Oh, hey, wait. This was also under the Duchy of Flanders. Oh, that's good. <laughs> then we will clean up our borders once we inherit France. Eh? We will immediately have this little enclave also in our realm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Should we increase the uh, the domain? Uh... Oh, we can't do that yet, I guess. 1174. Okay, it will be a while. Is our husband such a terrible steward then? Yeah, he's pretty bad. Hmm, okay. Is there anything that we should... Throw away. Oh, Weimar maybe? Middleburg, Altmar, Eiselstein, Vladingen. Yeah, we, could, we, could, we could give out the Duchy of Flanders to someone. Maybe uh, our son, Count of Verden. No, oh, he's the uh, he's, he's under the French. Or our, uh, our son, Prince Willem. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, first let's, uh, let's pick out the designated regent. Can do a steward. I would prefer to have uh, like a, like a family member, but I guess they're all pretty bad. <laughs> Robrecht, Duke of Gelre. Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I know why not. He's a terrible steward, but you know he is our most powerful vessel, so it makes sense, I guess. Fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Frisia, Kingdom of Frisia. Why don't you end that plot? Lack of power? What do you mean? Oh, he has lack of power. Okay. Can we give him an honorary title, saint Shell? Do you end your plot now? Still not. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, who are we going to give to Bruce to? Amy? He's pretty good. He's German, though. From Württemberg. You're out of your way, uh, man. Are they, all, are they all German? No, she's Dutch. Ooh, she's a good marshal. And that's one thing I miss from Conclave, is you have the status of women uh, law, which is, uh, which is lost now. We could have made her our marshal. But uh, it's not going to happen. Oh, she's a Valone, though. Screw those guys. <laughs> I'm not going to give her the, the Duchy. Come on. She's the, uh, the, 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 the family who, uh, who were kings. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so he, she's the aunt of, of the girl who seized our, our kingdom. We're definitely not, going to, uh, definitely not going to give her the Duchy. What else do we have? This guy from Vlaanderen. Oh, I think he's the former duke. Yeah. His family was uh, the, was uh, was in charge of the Duchy of Flanders when uh, since okay this is the, the house down below uh, uh, since eleven fifteen they've lost it yeah so I think he would for that reason alone he would be a pretty good uh, guy to give it to you know his his family has a claim to it yeah that sounds fair. We can give you uh, your duchy back, man. Your uh, ancestral duchy. Here you go. He's gonna love us for it, I guess. Yeah. 
Nice. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Okay, so we, we, we beat the Holy Roman Empire itself. That's that's pretty impressive, I would say. That's, that is very impressive. It was us, the French, and the Danish who did it. Yeah, so he's the Danish helped us out a lot actually. I think we're gonna we're gonna make him special interest because he really enjoyed. Yeah, so he, he he didn't have a big army, but he really helped us out at, at at key moments. You know, I think we would have lost some battles if it wasn't for him. And then we have uh, our our son, of course, who helped us out as well. He's betrothed to uh, to a Premier League, so I guess they will be married soon. We hope so. Although he's still betrothed, so I hope he will get married at some point. All right, I think we've been recording, yeah, for 15 minutes. So I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, we, we expanded our realm significantly this episode. And if we look at the dynasty map mode, yeah, look at that. We own a big chunk of Europe now. We are one of one of the most one of the most prestigious houses houses of Europe now, due to the efforts of, of Queen Adelinde. Yep, that's it, uh, and we will, we will continue this expansionist streak next time. So uh, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.